Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing really well and had an amazing start into the new year. And you know what? I realized that I still haven't filmed my list of favorite winter time perfumes and this is what we are doing in this video. I will share with you 10 perfumes that are just amazing for colder season and uh, on this list you will get niche indie and designer fragrances and uh, comment below your go-to winter time perfume and uh, you know what if you haven't subscribed already make sure to do that because on this channel you will always get something interesting to watch and that's been mentioned let's get started. Okay I want to begin with something very easy, likable, delicious, something that you would like to eat, but you should wear it on yourself. And that is Vanilla Bourbon by Il Profumo. You know, guys, if you have been following me for a while, you probably know that uh, I love uh, this perfume. I actually mentioned it uh, in my favorite vanilla perfumes video. Check out that one if you love vanilla because there are only gems on that list. But Vanilla Bourbon is my go-to winter vanilla. It is just really sweet, truly gourmand, fruity vanilla. It is really liquidy and you want to eat it. Like people turn their heads when they smell this perfume. They turn their head and they just like what is this perfume? What is it? I want it. Where can I buy it? And this perfume is really amazing. Crowd-pleasing, totally unique vanilla, great on men and women. And I just like to wear it during the winter time. I don't know why. It is pretty strong, it is pretty intense. And if you love vanilla and you're looking for something that will make you feel really good during the depressive season, then definitely get it because it will make sure that that uh, depression will forget who you are. Okay, so now I will tell you what is my go-to animalic perfume for winter time. And you can take a second and comment below because you probably know that Foxy by DSH Perfumes is not only my favorite animalic scent, but also is one of my signature scents. This is my animalic identity. I'm not kidding. This perfume is like real boozy, sexy, alcoholic, um, ambery, ha. Huh. Whew, like it is sexy guys, it's damn sexy, it has this whiskey infused with a lot of apple, peach juice and there is just like this animalic amber with spices and it just makes you feel so good and really like foxy and just so chatty, flirty and irresistible. Like I love this perfume especially for colder weather just because it's really inviting and just cozy and I'm, I, I don't know, like it is like second to me. This perfume was created for me and it is just so easy to wear. Like this is not skanky animalic, this is like sex animalic for different occasions, especially for the time when you want to feel sexy. Okay, next I will mention Leopard by Sarah Baker Perfumes and this one is on this list because it is like more fresh, more formal, spicy, animalic. Um, it is also animalic but it is different from Foxy because that one is really on the warm side and this is way more fresh and formal and it is a bit dangerous, like it has this wow wow woo effect to it, you know? It has a bit of powder, a bit of oriental, a lot of spicy notes and like patchouli with some like dirtiness and I like it a lot. Like I love to wear it all year round but I find like during the winter period it is especially appropriate and I would say that it is a great perfume to apply in the morning when you're going to work and you want that extra today but you know that you have planned something with your friends after the work, maybe some drinks, maybe you're going somewhere to the cinema or something, you know, so this perfume should be worn out, you know, and I find the longevity is perfect, everything is perfect and you can check out our interview with Sarah in which she explains it even better. Okay, now something really hardcore. That is Moth by Zoologist. And you guys, this perfume is really in your face. It is sweet smoke. It is so good. Like, it is totally unique perfume. There is nothing like it on the market out there. And I like that this smoke is really spicy and 
sweet and even floral but these are burnt flowers these are not flowers in the full bloom it is not a spring floral scent youthful and girly no 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 this is gothic smoke that is just growing on your skin and it is really opulent and bold and i find that winter is the perfect time to wear it especially nighttime this is disco club night out compliments flirt some inappropriate dancing this is this for a feeling like this is really really dirty dancing okay on this list should be a rose perfume and i have the best winter rose that is le mat by mandy Rosa. you know this rose is really elegant even though it is really spicy and warm it is pretty fresh and cold and i love the delicious note of myrtle which gives it almost like a foodie curry effect which is not gross or anything, don't think that. There is also a high dose of patchouli, which makes it really niche and expensive smelling. Every time I'm wearing this perfume, I'm really confident that I will be a millionaire one day. This perfume has a texture of cashmere, great aroma, and this is a recommendation for people who love rose. They're looking for a winter rose and for a really expensive rose. Okay, now I will tell you which perfume I'm wearing when it's snowing. Like, when it is snowing, I grab my Patchouli Clouds by Marina Barcenia. This is a natural perfume that is really intense on patchouli. And I am a patchouli lover, and this is like the best real patchouli, herbal, fresh, slightly green, slightly mossy, like planty. And I love it, you know? It has a lot of warmth. It is an exquisite perfume. It is surely... A patchouli with rose with exotic woods it is a bit balmy a bit spicy and I love the note of olibano which is like a balmy incense note it has like meditative relaxing feeling almost like a feeling of I don't know, like peace, and I love when it is snowing to wear this perfume. I don't know why, that is just my association with snow right now. And if you love patchouli, this is a must try. Okay, remember I promised you a designer perfume? That is Woe by Yop. And actually, I've mentioned in my best discoveries of 2018, this is a great designer, really such a cheapy that smells like a niche perfume. If you want that really dirty, musky rose with sexy animalic undertone, patchouli niche effect and just a funny fruity twist, you need this perfume in your life. Winter is the best time to wear. It is a crowd pleaser, everybody is attracted to it and it is great for work and time after work, dates, like this perfume you cannot go wrong with it. And there is actually more manly version that is more on piney, sweetish, warmy, manly scents, but this one is unisex, I would say, and get it because it is a chippy and it is a good one. But guys, Oh My Soul by 4160 Tuesdays is number one perfume that I recommend for winter time. It is actually affordable, high quality, really complex perfume that smells totally unique and special and it will protect you, hug you, and make sure that you feel really good, inviting, warm, with so many different notes. It is sweet, it is sexy, it is really, really good, it creates a nice mood. And actually the concept, the idea of this perfume was to create a group hug and Sarah nailed it. She's a genius and I would recommend you to buy it even blindly because I did and I'm not disappointed. This is one of the best purchases Ever. Okay, I need to tell you about my winter oud, and that is Mr. Bozhnikov's Purple Hat by Ford and Manle. And you guys, I love this oud because it is totally unique. It is not that typical oriental oud that uh, is so, so, like, uh, everywhere. No, this is aromatic oud that starts with lavender, but it is not really herbaceous because the lavender is sweetened by dark chocolate and vanilla and there is a very woodsy, woody base. And this perfume is great for winter time. Like, I don't know why, but I love to wear it for winter or just when it's dark. So maybe if you're going to work when it's still dark outside, it's a great perfume to wear. It is really unique 
it is the easiest wood to wear ever, the most pleasant wood to wear, anything that if you're looking for something high quality and something very unusual and something that will be really pleasant and lovely, this is a great option. Okay, now, now, hardcore, totally wintery perfume that is Indigo. This Sexy Baby by Barotti is, I'm telling you, it is like... Whoa! It is like for severe winter, somewhere in Alaska or Russian, Siberian, you know? Like, it is so masticky and this oil is really balmy, a lot of oud, a lot of amber, and it is just like so orientalish and I, I, like, oh my god, it should be worn out when it is really cold. Like, it will help you to survive the most intense winter Ever. And finally, even though I shared with you my top 10, I need to mention Tango by Mask in Milano because you guys probably know that this is one of my go-to niche perfumes ever. It is in my top 10 niche fragrances for life because this is sexy, salty, amber, that is so spicy and delicious, warm and round, that sinks into your skin, creating this sexual aroma oh my god like for men and women if you want that only one perfume in your life that is tango just get it and have fun because nobody can resist it it is perfume for having fun to seduce people to go dancing to have a incredible time because this is such a well done scent and it is absolutely great to wear it during the cold um, time of the year to satisfy your senses and even when you're on your own at home wear this perfume and you will have a feeling that you're dancing in the most beautiful party of your life. Okay, and that is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that will help me out a lot. Don't forget to comment your go-to winter perfume and stay tuned, smell good, and we'll see you on the next one really soon. Bye guys!